What's up fellow vapers? Scott with the Vaping Budget here today and I'm finally getting my review to you guys on the Kanger Aero Tank. This is my favorite tank that I have so far. I absolutely love this thing. It vapes so well and especially with that micro coil cotton build in this bad boy which I am going to show you today. So this will be a little bit longer video um, but I hope you guys enjoy it and enjoy building that micro coil in here with cotton because let me tell you it vapes really good and you don't have to keep going and buying these coils you can build your own and save you some money and have some fun doing it trying different things so um, without further ado let's open this bad boy up and show you what comes with it and uh, then we'll dive in to the close-up with my new camera it's not the greatest but uh, it's gonna have to work for now um, I got it in my vape budget the next month or two to get a lot nicer one and uh, get some better video quality out there for you guys. But I'm going to work with what I got for now. So dive in here and show you what comes with it. Look at that. Such nice boxes. I know I'm weird. There's your authentication code. You can scratch off and check and make sure it's authentic. Uh, comes with a uh, little instruction book here. Kind of shows you how it goes together. And then how to fill your tank, adjust your airflow, and put your coil in. Telling you about your uh, the code there where you can make sure it's an authentic kinger. And that's the boost there. Such good packaging here. Uh, it comes it came with two coils in here. Uh, of course, I've used them. I got one in there now. I'm gonna and then I'm gonna rebuild one for you guys today. Comes with your beauty ring in there and the tank and it is pyrex glass so you can vape whatever you want in this thing and you don't have to worry about it so um, love the airflow adjustment on it. i've been vaping on this for about a month i got it from uh, mount baker vapor i'll put a link below to that um, 101 vape also has it too as well i'll put a link below for them and they also got some pretty good deals over at uh, 101 vape too as well so definitely check them guys out order quite a bit of stuff from them when I can so there it is in all its beauty and all its glory it is a slick looking machine so dive down up close and personal and tear this bad boy apart and build that coil for you all right here she is up close. Finally, I can get these shots for you guys. Sorry about the wobbling here. I'm going to try to keep it down to a minimum, but you all know how it goes. And a nice drip tip here. Fits very nice, very tight in there. Put that off to the side. And then we got the bottom here with your coil. And this also adjusts your airflow. I'll get into that in the end after I show you how to build this coil. And there's your coil there. Flow comes through your sides and out through the bottom of that coil. So when you fill your tank or change your coil, you definitely want to clean down in there for sure. And there's the top. Love how this goes together. And there's your top post with your O-ring in there. Your Pyrex tank. And then the bottom with your seal right in there. So very easy to take apart and clean. Very easy to put back together. Put your coil in there. And you're good to go. All right. Well, let's get to building that uh, coil today for you guys. All right. These Kanger coils are really easy to take apart and uh, to build on. So all you got to do is take this little rubber deal off and then this top stem here, just kind of wiggle that back and forth, pops that out, you see that there? Yep. and then there is basically your deck there with your coil in it and then the bottom you just take this metal post Oh, it goes right inside a rubber deal there. 
And then next, all you got to do is take that little rubber mill, get that out of there, Just pop this, there we go, right out there, set that off to the side. And now you can just pull, your, pull that old coil out, and there it is there. It's hard to see, but it's all crudded up and not good. So we'll just chuck that out of the way there for a minute. All right, and there you go. So we got it all apart now. Now all we got to do is build our coil. All right, so now what we got to do is grab our 30 gauge Kenthal wire. Got about, I don't know, six inches here or so. And I'm going to do um, eight wraps on this. I got uh, a two millimeter screwdriver here. And then you want to leave, I don't know, about an inch. You want to leave about an inch out there. The screwdriver. About that much. You can see that. And then we're going to do eight wraps. That's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, oops. slipped out, eight. All right, let's pull it back a little bit further on that last one. So that's what we got there. And then you just kind of take it. That's why I like building on these. Uh, micro screwdrivers versus building on like a a drill bit or something is you got that end that little lip right there to crimp help crimp your coil up or start it all right now we gotta do is pull it off of there grab our tweezers here and then we'll just clamp it down you want to make sure you clamp these even in here all right we got to clamp down there really nice and neat and we'll give it a quick torch here. I'm just going to use my little one that I got. Go ahead and torch it up. Get it back in the frame here. I like to pull my wire straight at this point. All right. Sorry I didn't get all that in the frame for you. It's kind of hard to do this and get it on video. All right. We got her all torched up. And then after I torch it, I slide it on a smaller, um, either a screwdriver head, this is a hex head, and this fits down in the cone very nicely. Like that. So you just take them wires, put them down through the center of the cone. Right, and two, there, see that? All right, you want to hold it about midway, right there. It's kind of where you're going to, I just put it there and I pinch, kind of hold it like that in my fingers. And then we want to take one of these wires here and just bend it over to the side. And then we take That'll be our negative. This one will be our positive. If you can see it sticking up. There you go. And then you take this little insulator here and put one the one wire sticking straight up. Just put it through the middle of that insulator and then just kind of work that in there. Very easy. Just like that. You can see that one wire. All right, we can see that one wire coming right up the middle there. One coming out the outside. And the one going to the middle. And you take this one, that wire, and just bend it over the other side of the coil. So it is coming out to the middle and then out that side. The other one's coming out the outside of that insulator there. And then we just take this stem piece that was in there and oops, plop it right in there make sure then we got 
Let's see where our coil's at in there. That'll work out perfectly. So now you can pull that out. You can see we got our coil in there. She's lined up even with the, the slot in there. Now we can just trim off. This wire sticking out the bottom of the coil. And there we go. And you want to make sure that coil is centered in there. All right, and we take our bottom off. Go ahead and slap that in there. Just check our ohms really quick before you go any further. Two point two, not bad. All right, then take your <clears throat> take the base of that out and grab you a chunk of cotton. That's about what I like to grab. You know, it's it's a nice chunk. You can always pull it back out and take more out. But where we're going a single coil in the double slot there, we got some room to fill up. And then just you know take your end and just make you know, just twist it make a little point there and then just slide it through all right now you will if it's thick enough you will pull that coil over to the side that you're pulling through and just kind of take your screwdriver and push that back over there all right, you know, that's about what we want. Nice for how much cotton we want in there. All right, now I like to use my side cutters when I cut this cotton because I haven't got a good pair of scissors yet. And you want to cut it even with that metal ring right here. See that metal ring right there? You kind of, I just put the end of my clippers there or scissors or whatever you're using and then just snip. The other side. See that? Sweet. All right. See how we what we got there? Perfect. That'll work out great right there. And that will. Then all we got to do, I'll show you here, is take the stem. That stem down in there. Your rubber deal on you can if you notice you're getting dry hits too you can just pop this off too sometimes if you, and especially if you're vaping a higher vg blend you'll want to leave this off this little rubber seal here and you won't it won't leak you might get a little bit but nothing to worry about you might get a tiny bit of gurgling right at first and there we go Look at that, isn't it beautiful? And just go ahead and slide her back in here. And then we'll get the tank filled up. Get back up to the other view, get the tank filled up, and do some vaping on it. All right, we're back up, and now you gotta look at me again. But uh, now we're ready to fill this bad boy up and see how she vapes. Um, just make sure your tank's back together and tight not too tight though good rule of thumb on tanks whether you're screwing it to your mod ego battery whatever or putting your parts back together is just a two finger tight and you're good it should take a little bit more than that to loosen it and we're good not over tightening that and the reason being is you can crack your glass you can strip stuff out in here and you can over compress your seals in there and you'll just have to change them sooner so it doesn't have to be too tight all right we're gonna fill this bad boy up with some American blend tobacco that I got from uh, USA vaping supply and we'll go ahead and fill it up you just ride along the side there 
get some juice. Yeah. All right. That smells pretty good. I like this one. I did my review on it and was dripping it, so it should be pretty good. It should be really tasty in here. Oh, and one thing I've noticed when you're putting your tank back, your bottom on here, if it doesn't go down all the way, sometimes when you're loosening it, when you go to fill it again, you loosen up your coil. So just make sure that coil is tight when you go to fill it again or you're changing liquids out or whatever. If this doesn't tighten all the way down, don't keep cranking it down. It's that coil in there slipped out a little bit when you took the base off. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna get this bad boy on the Bamo 5 that I just got. I got it in the gun metal because I really like the gun metal. We got her all wicked up here. Gave her a little bit. We're gonna see how she vapes. Seven watts. Just at seven watts, we're gonna try it out. Look at that. Nice vapor. The taste is incredible. Once you change that over to a cotton build, that one micro coil is all you need. You saw it, seven watts. I'll show you again. Look at that, baby. Nice mouth to lung hit. Open this up all the way. We'll do a lung hit off of her. Crank it up. Twelve watts. <laughs> Woo! That's a little too much for me. That's a hot bait. We'll go down. Let's try 10. I got her at 10 watts. Let's see how she vapes at 10 here. <laughs> Woo! Can't do them lung hits very good, but. You know what? She vapes great. And I love the adjustable airflow on it. You know, sometimes you want more, sometimes you want less. You just simply screw that bad boy and you can adjust it, you know, anytime you want. Um, so, two great, big, 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 big thumbs up to the Kanger Aero Tank. I love it. Can't wait to get the big daddy to this. They got the Mega out now, the Kanger Aero Tank Mega. Um, but I absolutely love this tank and especially with that cotton build in there so, all right we'll do one more vape at eight and a half watts and see what she does nice vapor out of it look at this one i don't inhale watch Nice vapor out of that bad boy. And that cotton build is the key to it. I hope you liked my video. And I hope that micro coil build helped you out. It's super awesome. And you can put that coil, you can build that coil in, in any of your uh, minis, any of your Pro Tanks that you have. The Pro Tank 3, this one has it in it. Your Pro Tank 2s, basically they have the same coil, just a single coil. You can build that same coil in there. Just use less cotton in there. And it will vape awesome for you so thanks for watching guys i really appreciate you and thank you for subscribing and have an awesome day and i'll be thinking about you when i'm vaping